Thor News presents Meteor Storm coming soon. Asterisk. First, I'd like to apologize. I blew my voice out last night doing karaoke. Meteor Storm coming soon. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is right. Earth is about to get some tail. Looks like Earth is going to get a lot of tail. That's right. We've got the Comet of the Century added our way in Comet Ison due to past November, December, and January. And if the Comet of the Century wasn't good enough, we're going to have a meteor shower that may be a meteor storm, which would be the meteor storm of the decades. Decade? Decades. On May 24th, 2014, which is less than seven months from now, Earth will plow through a dense stream of dust particles shed by Comet 209P linear dynamicists think the crossing could result in an intense meteor shower. Maybe even a storm. And North Americans, that's me, will have front row seats. Well, how do you know I won't be standing? Over the past two decades, celestial dynamicists have gotten very good at divining when meteoric activity will spike. Their computer models can track how dust ejected by a comet near each perihelion pass gets distributed into strands of particles over time. And now these number crunchers are telling us that make sure May 24th, 2014 is circled on our sky watching calendars. And you want to know why? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is right. Earth is about to get some tail. Looks like Earth is going to get a lot of tail. And that's exciting. So everybody, this is seven months away. So the meteor storm party planning begins now. Now, the cool thing about this is that Apparently, not only will we be passing in its tail, we will be passing through all the trails ejected by this comet between 1803 and 1924. And as a consequence, this shower might as well be a storm with a potential to see more than a thousand meteors per hour under ideal conditions. So if we start planning now, we can have the ultimate meteor storm party. Man, it is just comet and media madness around here. I mean, first of all, you had the Comet Ison showing up, the Comet of the Century. Then you had the Lazarus Comets, which are asteroids in the asteroid belt, slowly changing into comets. Then you had Don Quixote, an asteroid which is beyond Jupiter, somehow heating up and turning into a comet when you would think it would be getting cold. And now we've got the Linear P Meteor Storm. That is great. The best part of all this prognostication at least from a U.S. perspective, is that the meteor display should peak between 7 and 8, universal time on May 24th. It'll be dark across virtually all of North America. The meteor's apparent point of origin is in Camel Opar Dallas. Camel Opar Dallas. Camel Opar Dallas. Camel Opar Dallas. I know what that means. So far, as of right now, everything is a go for the best meteor display since the dramatic Leonid showers of the 1990s. I'm excited. Are you excited? 